He doesn't want it, okay? I don't want that chemical stuff on your food and then your food given to me. That's really gross, actually. Ben, why don't you focus on your food? No, that's no good. Can you focus on eating your food? No! Okay, then you're going to come inside with me. What? There's another one at three thirty. Today? Mm-hmm. Oh. There goes our Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and try to enjoy two eggs and a muffin. We're all on edge. While stress levels are at an all time high here at the treehouse. You girls hungry? girls are hungry. You're like nipping at my toes here. All right, here you go. Here you go. Crunch up a little eggshell for you. Strawberries. Little apples. Some leftover sandwich stuff. No chicken in there though. Don't worry. Tensions are high. Tensions are high, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're vlogging today. Uh, and we've just been alerted that we, we're getting kicked out. We gotta leave the house. So this is what is uh, so so frustrating about uh, selling a house. Uh, we're, we're happy and it's a blessing to have a, a showing of your home when you're trying to sell it, but we're, uh, we've depersonalized the house and now we just have to leave it randomly because um, we'll get somebody that wants to see the house um, and then we'll just, you know, have to up and leave. So uh, having to keep the house in somewhat cleanly order with two toddlers, uh, stressful to begin with. And then I just feel like I haven't been myself, like I've been out of routine I normally, I'd, I'd love to go out and uh, adventure out to new places and, you know, explore the outdoors and new lakes and, and you know, scout for deer and do all this stuff. And I just feel like I am, I'm scared to leave. Like, I'm, I don't want to leave the family in this, in this stressful state right now. Everyone's just on edge. The moving sucks. It just does. So it's Sunday morning right now. It's opening day of dove season, y'all. <laughs> I'd love to be out in a field somewhere right now, popping, popping some doves. But we just got a, uh, we just got a, a, a call saying uh, someone wants to see your house in like two hours. You guys gotta go, you gotta go. And then we had another showing in the afternoon, so we don't even really have time to come back. It's my son's birthday this weekend too, so it's just kind of. You know, putting it on the back burner a little bit, feel bad, but there's not a whole lot we can do. So I'm in the middle of a uh, aero building project right now that I'm gonna have to abandon. I've got sharp things laying around. Oh my gosh, this thing looks, looks beautiful. 100 grain insert, 150 grain iron wheel head on there. Uh, buff, no bleeders for the trad bow. And I got to, I need to dial in um, the length of my arrow to get it tuned just perfectly. So I'm in the middle of that, but I gotta, I gotta abandon that project, clean some of this stuff up and go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go hit the lake right now. Steph's gonna uh, take the kids somewheres. Uh, we've been just kind of floating around the car 
here for the last week. Uh, we've had showings and open houses, uh, I think five, five or six uh, days out of, the, out of the entire week. What keeps me excited and hopeful right now, though, is the, the, the Tackle and Archery Cave. I just have these dreams, I have the vision to expand this little space right here where I do everything into a, you know, over a thousand square foot, 2,000 square foot workshop of just this, guys. Tackle, archery, outdoor paradise. Got to get out of the house right now. We'll clean up a little bit and then we'll see you on the water. No, it's one of my favorite sounds in the world. That V8 just popping. First of all, just let me say, there is no better therapy. Um, to me, than getting out on the water and trying to catch bass. Because you just get lost in bass. There's so many different techniques, there's so many things that they can do, they're tricky. And I just feel like, to me, I get lost in it, similar to like a, like a runner, when you're running. I used to run a lot, and I, if you're feeling like stressed about something, it just goes away, because all you're focusing on is the next step. It sucks, it's painful. Um, with bass fishing, it's more of a, uh, a mental exercise, but you just, you can't get out of like, what do I need to do right here? Should I be throwing a crankbait? Should I be throwing a swim bait? Are these fish uh, in, a, in a feeding mode? Like, what do I need to do to get them to bite? Everything just disappears. And I think that makes it the best mental therapy possible for someone that likes the outdoors. Looks like there's a bass coming to look at my worm. He just picked it up. Oh, he definitely picked it up. Come on, baby. No thinking about the house. No thinking about the stress. Just give me that bite. Oh my gosh, a tiny bass. There he goes. The tiniest bass in the ocean. Check one. One, two. All right, y'all, I have, uh, I've been out here like an hour and a half. I caught one tiny one. And my time's pretty much up because I got to make it back to the ramp. Then I got to go, I got to go get kids. This is, uh, this is a last chance situation to get a, a quality tug. My current life situation is stressful and everything, but I'm really blessed and fortunate that when I was attempting to be a professional bass angler, that I got my teeth kicked in really hard. Uh, to the point where I, I kind of realized it was, it was not gonna happen for me. Because if I would have just won a big tournament or you know made uh, a few top tens in in my first couple seasons uh, i probably would have kept doing it i just can't see myself boating very well with the family life that i love now with that lifestyle and god bless those guys but man i love fishing but it's just never more important than uh, my family and kids. And um, that's just the kind of dedication I think it takes to be on the water all the time, learn as much as you can and be competitive. It's so hard to do with a family. Very blessed to just work in the industry that I do like and I've always wanted to be a part of and I still get to um, be with my family. So, I'm, kind of, I'm glad I did did that, got it out of my system when I was young. But man, I, I just got my teeth walloped in. Phew, I got like five minutes. Five minutes to catch one. Let's go, this pressure right here, this would be like that pro pressure.
There he is. We got him. Oh my God, it came off. Oh. Dude, got that reaction bite with the crankbait. And you just be pulled off, man. What the deuce. That is why I could not make it in the pros. I am going to head to the woods. The lake is not working. Rolling up to my beautiful wife. Let me serve you a martini. Wow, where is it? <laughs> I mean, I wish I had one. I feel like a housewife right now. Well, like you, a... could be, you could be my martini. What's up, son? Hello. All right. Okay. OSG is actually going to what is called a tea party. A tea party. We're going to real... high tea, an afternoon tea, actually. High tea would be at noon. We're doing an afternoon tea. Okay. Well, uh, we're wow. switching hats, though. I'm handing the kids off to you. Yeah. House is clean. Wow. Um, their car seats are in the garage. Just pick up their toys. Trash is already out. I don't know. Okay. Leave at three or earlier. Yeah. And there's a cake in the fridge that needs to go to your mom's house. Okay. You can't miss it. It's a chocolate cake. All right. So kids and chocolate cake. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Love you. <laughs> I love you too. See what I'm saying? How how could I leave that? to go dangle on some bass for, for a week and get 45th place. You got a car? I got a car. Especially when the younglings are in an impressionable, impressionable age. Also, want to give you guys a reminder. Don't forget this right here, okay? It is opening day of dove season. This is a fishing and hunting license. It's called a super combo. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I need to get you the lifetime so that you'll never have to buy a fishing or hunting license ever again. Why? Because it costs a lot of money. Yeah, but it helps the fishes and the deers and the everything else. So anyways, this is your friendly reminder. It is September. Don't forget to re-up your fishing and hunting license. Even if you don't hunt, if you're or vice versa if you get one or the other but get both support the state support parks support wildlife it just goes to you know i buy them all over the place because i'm i'm fishing and, and hunting in different states but uh you know there's a lot of things you can spend your money on um i think it's one of those things that it just helps out helps out we need all the daggum wildlife we can get so OSG let me go out for a couple hours just get a get a release on the fishing I'm gonna cover her while she goes and watches the uh, or goes to her little tea party thing whatever uh, in between the house showings right now so I gotta gather up the kids and, and take them while we got another house showing so we're gonna clean up and uh, hit the road again you ready to hit the road yes yes okay All right, kids are secure. They're with grandma right now. And I'm heading to the woods. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm going to uh, walk to a spot that I, I want to hog hunt. I'm at LFD's house right now, but um, I've never done this before. I've never tried to access the woods from here, but there's a little, little drop in on a creek that um, I've been wanting to get a hog out forever, and I've got a, uh, this is archery only, hog hunting land, you can't hunt deer out here. I see a ton of deer, I see a ton of deer sign, but we're gonna go walk in the woods, and I just, while I'm here, and I gotta be out of the house, I just got another notification, we have another showing. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is like the most frustrating thing, just feeling displaced. But the thing that uh, I'll probably always have comfort in is the outdoors. So that's just what I'm gonna do. All right, we just dropped into the public land and pretty much immediately we're into poop, we're into sign. Prince. 
heavy, heavy trail beating up. There's hog poop right there by my toe. I mean, wow. It's old poop, but wow, here's turkey feather. There's just, there's so much going on in here. bluegill in here. Like, quite a few of them. There's bluegill in what looks like a small little carp. So that tells me that the water has been in here a while. Well, between getting out on the water today and getting lost in the woods, man, I, I mean, it's, you can't have a single thought about anything stressful when you're out there doing that stuff. Uh, and it's just now getting to where we can go back to our house. The showings are done. Um, and we got another one tomorrow. So it's like, it's just weird. It, it, it's almost like we've, we've moved out uh, look at this giant bug. What the heck? Oh, that's one of those big old grasshoppers that the uh, the turkeys were trying to eat. Our normal routines, they're all just gone now. And uh, it's just like, it's a dwelling, you know? And uh, we sleep there, but there's there's other people in there, strangers every day that we don't know, just walking around. So it's, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird thing. Hey there. Hey. How was the tea party? Tea party was great, but you know, when you get six girls together, they talk until you literally have to tell them, I gotta go. Why don't you put them one, two, three. Somebody made a dog bone cake. 
Pretty cool. OSD Creations. I'll try to make them feel special. I'm Hold on. One. I'm you want to put one in? Okay. Where are you going to put it? We got a lighter? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. You want to blow out your candles? Good All job. Right. I blew it out with him. Oh, I know you did. Good job. Now we're going to open the present. Team effort. Wah bam. Wah bam. Okay. Ben's a lucky boy. He actually got a lot of presents from his little birthday party from his little kid friends, but. Haven't been able to open them yet because we, we don't want to make a mess. I know in our we've been house. showing our house. Poor guy, he doesn't even know though. You can't tell. Poor him. little buddy. <laughs> hey, you know what? We won't tell him. We'll save him for Christmas. I mean, honestly, <laughs> save him for Christmas. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, Could it be a spaceship? He, ha he has it too. He has it too. He what has it? it too. He has it too. He has it too. What is what? it? He has oh, it it's the dinner winner. <laughs> oh, he's trying to. Oh, oh, you got me! You got me in the head, dude. You got me with a bullet. Oh, you just shot over my head. Yeah. I'll take that big butt. Yeah. Excuse me. All right, guys, back from Ben's birthday celebration next day, and guess what? We're getting ready for a a showing. Already again. Someone yesterday. Um, at the show, I apparently let the chickens out. And uh, so I woke up Colonel Sanders and another chicken out here. Um, and then Peaches is, is gone. Just another uh, feather or lack thereof in the cap of. Sell the house. Looks like there was a struggle right here. Oh, dang it, dude. Dang it, dude. She was my favorite chicken, man. She was a white chicken. She laid blue eggs. She was really cool. Oh, sorry, old girl. Or young girl. You weren't even that old. I think it goes without saying, but... Stressed out about the move, ready for it to just happen, be over, and um, breathe, breathe some new life into uh, into another house and into our family again, because we're just all we're all stressed. Lost another member today. We're dropping like flies. Anyways, you guys stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel for more home vlogs and outdoor activities. And I'll see you on the next one.